Hi there. Happy Monday. It's May the 28th, 2018, and I'm Eric. Talking at you as always from beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Where, no, you're like totally the best hooker. It's actually a compliment. Well, happy Monday evening, everybody. Uh, weekend is over, and it looks like so is the nice weather, because I'm standing out here on Hastings Street, the infamous street that was once compared to the ghettos of Johannesburg by someone from Johannesburg. And the clouds are rolling in fast and furious, so uh, it looks like we're due for some rain right away. I um, want to begin tonight by once again giving a tip of my hat to Gord for uh, moving out and setting up shop in Toronto for us. He called me this morning, made it there safely. He will be up and running. Yeah, he does, buddy. Thank you. I will be reporting in. I tried to get him on tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. You guys are starting to learn how Gord operates. Uh, Gord's on when Gord wants to be on, and that's all he's going to do. So, But we'll have him this week uh, tell us about what's going on out in Toronto because Toronto is a very self-absorbed city. And so is Vancouver. So we don't know a lot about what's going on. But uh, Gord and I together are going to bridge that gap and make us all friends again. At least uh, for a half hour at a time, anyway. Cool story, bro. All right. On to the question of the weekend. The big question that was on everybody's mind, and by everybody I mean me, uh, is Mrs. Prince Harry Canadian or American? It's been a big debate going on. Americans are claiming she's from Houston, Texas. I'm claiming she's from somewhere in Canada. I don't know where, but I heard she was Canadian. Uh, the closest I could get to finding out the truth was that she and Mr. Merkel are uh, honeymooning here in Canada. So why would you honeymoon in Canada if you weren't from Canada, right? Most people from Canada don't even honeymoon in Canada. I did because I was very broke, but... But nevertheless, I still haven't gotten to the bottom of it. So if you can get to the bottom of it, give me a call, 604-655-9630, or uh, shoot me an email. At, maybe it's me, 42, at gmail.com, and tell me if Mrs. Prince Harry is or is not Canadian. I've never seen a diamond in the And uh, just want to mention that Gord's trip, along with this episode of Is It Just Me and every episode of Is It Just Me, are made possible by the Champion Tree Entertainment Company. Champion Tree Entertainment Company is the one-stop solution for the independent artist, musician, or actor looking to launch a new career or maybe just breathe life into an existing one. Anything you can think of you need to get your start in the industry, Champion Tree's already thought of and they're going to do it for you and give you a hell of a deal on it. That's the Champion Tree in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, because the only things that are impossible are the things that you don't try. I'm going to take a special break to debut an Ashes of Purgatory song for you. This is the first single off their upcoming release, Awaken, due to hit everywhere you buy music. Uh, this June, it'll be more toward the end of June, but the album will be out in June one way or another. So this is the first track off that album and uh, the first single. This is called Spinning by Ashes of Purgatory. Yeah. 
How cool is that? That was spinning my ass as a purgatory from the new album, Awaken. Due to be out and available anywhere you like to buy your music uh, by the end of June 2018. That is going to be an absolutely amazing record. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, that was called Spinning. What a cool track. I'm really glad we had that to play tonight. All right, so the beginning of a new week means the beginning of a new poll. And this week's poll question was... Is it acceptable now? Is it socially acceptable to end a relationship via text message? Um, very apropos question, but I won't get into that right now. So I was particularly shocked uh, over yesterday at the results I got, the answers to this question, because it's really 50-50 right now. And uh, again, much like the last poll, age doesn't have a lot to do with the answer. Um, doesn't seem to matter how old people are, or young, or hip, or not so hip. Uh, the answer is right down the middle. Some people say, yeah, it's totally okay. Some people say, no, it's horrible, and stuff like that should never happen. Um, the most common answer, I'm going to reveal in a little while, but I don't want to do it yet, because I'm going to ask some people here on the street if they'll answer the question for me as well. So uh, if you would like to be a part of the poll and answer the question, we will be asking all week, is it acceptable now? To end a relationship via text message, you can call me in with your answers at 604-655-9630. Did I say call me in? That sounds stupid. Or always you can send an email to maybe it's me 42 at gmail.com. Now keep in mind, for those of you that are paying attention, it is no longer is it just me 42. It is now maybe it's me 42 at gmail.com. Uh, let me know what you think. So... Before the musical break there, I asked a couple of people if they would answer, so I they said yes, we're going to try to talk to them right now. So we're going to see how many people we can get on the street to answer our poll question for us today. And I'm like, okay, um, yeah, come on. So we're going to find somebody here. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes, quickly. Question of the week, poll question, is it just me or is it now acceptable to end a relationship via text message? No. No? No, two more no's. Two more on the no side. So no's are now taking a lead finally. I was really shocked by how many yeses I got uh, earlier today. It's two more for the no side. We're going to see how many more we can get because this is interesting to me. And as I said, it's very appropriate because it happened this weekend. And I'm not going to talk about that right now, but I will later. I'll dump on you guys later. Maybe when we have Gord with us, I'll dump on you guys a little bit. That's two more for the no, it's not side. And I... I haven't said to you guys yet, but I say on uh, on the air, I am fully with the no side. I don't think it's right. I think you should sack up and tell someone in person. I think a lot of what we say to each other should be said in person, and I don't like the way things are going. I don't like the distance between human relationships that's developing and the fact that, you know, you can have begin, have, and end a relationship all without ever really meeting anybody. I think it's a ridiculous way to live your life. And I see us going down that way, that path, and I don't like it. And I would like to see it not be that way. Um, I know that's optimistic, and I'm very old-fashioned, but, you know, you got to stick to to what you got. Um, we're going to keep asking people as the show goes on and see how many people we can get at, to answer. Now, I am on Hastings Street, and uh, as I've said before, People are reluctant to be recorded down here, so don't be surprised if we don't get a lot of responses, but uh, 
you can always send in your responses to maybe it's me42 at gmail.com. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. So I got some stats over the weekend, uh, listener stats, uh, what's going on with the podcast, and you guys, you guys are good to me, my god, I didn't realize how lucky I am, uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, iHeartRadio, I never really got into iHeartRadio, like I haven't looked into them very much, but I did over the weekend, and what an awesome site. Uh, super cool, really fun, lots of great stuff there. So I want to thank iHeartRadio for having my humble little podcast in and amongst their illustrious lineup of podcasts. And there are some great ones I was listening all weekend. Um, some really entertaining guys on there. So really cool to be a part of that company and uh, very, very happy for that. So thank you to iHeartRadio. Um, and I want to just send a shout out to the, some people around... Uh, you know, our general area. Oddly enough, there's very small numbers of people listening in Vancouver. That means none of my friends are listening, so we're going to have a talk about that. Um, but uh, Ashburn, Virginia, wherever the hell that is, I love you guys. Thank you. Keep listening. Um, we're going to try, Gordon and I were talking about maybe trying to plan a trip there this year because uh, you guys uh, uh, apparently are downloading my show, and that is amazing. Let's uh, let's keep it up. Keep that up, and keep writing in and calling in uh, 604-655-9630, and maybe it's me42 at gmail.com, and let's keep those numbers going up. Got uh, numbers right across Canada, which is really cool, but uh, the fact that people in America are interested in what I have to say, very, very cool to me. Um, so thank you, everybody. Keep it up. And uh, we'll keep trying to be entertaining or at least on all the time. We can, I can promise you that much. I'll be on every night. Um, I can't promise I'll be entertaining every night because I'm just not that funny. Cool story, bro. But we will see what we're doing. Um, thanks to everybody for that. I don't know why my effects weren't working right there. So I'm going to go to a song here and figure out what's going on with uh, the EB Studios, the EB Portable Studios from Hastings Street in beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada.